everybody, Mike Gillette here, and I have a question for you. Have you fallen down lately? Have you fallen down lately? Falling has been at the forefront of my mind this week. I'm on the road. I've been working with a, a gymnastics club uh, several days in a gym setting, working on and refining mind skills, and then traveling with that same team to a large meet that was held in Las Vegas. And if you spend any time around gymnastics, you might almost get the impression that the sport is about falling rather than doing very complex uh, body movements through space. In order to get to the point where you can perform those skills, you do a lot of falling. Uh, some of that falling is very fast and very hard. Some of that falling is from very high up. But the interesting thing about that sport, as elegant and polished and perfect as it can look uh, in ideal circumstances, is it takes a lot of falling down uh, to get to that point. Which is not to say that the falling down doesn't happen in the competition setting either. And over the past two days, watching some high-level gymnasts compete, I still saw a lot of falling, a lot of falling down. And some of it was uh, falling with injury. And I'm fascinated by gymnastics primarily because of that aspect. You know, as, as great as it looks and, uh, you know, as much as you can really enjoy the complexity of it as well as the artistry of it, there's something about the, the cold reality of all of that falling, of all of that impact and the resultant frustration because you know, this is something that people invest considerable time and effort into doing because it's so very complex to chase as a uh, sport. And I'm watching you know, kids, females in this case, falling repeatedly. Falling in competition, falling when it counts, and falling when it counts against you, and watching how different athletes deal with that experience, and watching the athletes who can basically get up, mentally dust themselves off, and proceed and take care of what still needs to be done, despite the fact that they're angry, they're frustrated, uh, they're embarrassed. Uh, they're disappointed in themselves and oftentimes they're also in pain when you fall in gymnastics there's frequently uh, pain associated with that and, and sometimes injury as well so what is ennobling about that particular sport is all of the potential for disappointment for being so emotionally invested in something and really desiring it and yet it not always giving you back what you had hoped, you know, because it's it's a high stakes game. And playing a high stakes game, pursuing something of immense value that's so challenging at the same time is is fascinating to me just sort of from the, the metaphorical uh, aspect and, and what it expresses. And as I watched kids that I didn't know fall and then deal with the consequences, as well as the kids who I have come to know this past week, watch them fall, hurt themselves, you know, lose points when, when mistakes were made. And, and we had talked about how best to proceed in those moments. How do you work forward from that? And when I was able to see the athlete get up and just kind of you know, re-engage in the moment, reconnect with their purpose, their fundamental mission, and take care of business despite everything that had transpired moments before. It was really powerful, really powerful to see. And those are moments that you can give yourself if you challenge yourself with things. If you take the time to look for activities or pursuits of great meaning that can challenge you, challenge you to the point where they make you fall down occasionally so that you can have the privilege of figuring out what you're going to do in that moment. How are you going to proceed? Are you going to let that experience, that disappointment crush you, basically stop you in your tracks? Because you can quit. You don't have to finish the rest of your routine. You can just march off the floor in frustration. 
but it's when that isn't what happens. It's when people choose not to do the easy thing and they get back in front of everybody and they, they finish as bravely as they can. The lessons that we can take from moments like that, not just watching other people do it, which is an encouragement, which is inspirational, but doing it ourselves, looking for those opportunities that can knock us off our feet, that can cause us to fall down. Look for those opportunities. The lessons they have to teach us are considerable.